Well, I think it's uh, it's 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 exciting to think of secondary school students putting their mind to product design and one of the aspects of that product design is it's very much a, a melding of different technologies from materials through to manufacturing processes um, and then considering the, the user within all of that and so you always, you've always got your eye on what's this for, who's going to use it, and where are they going to use it. So I think it teaches people how to, how to think a little bit more. Um, I think traditional skills are really um, good to have as a basis because you, you know, it's often one of the things that you need in terms of design if you know how a piece of timber you know, can be formed or a bit of sheet metal um, behaves when you bend it. Um, but I think it is more sustainable to actually be across the thinking of what it needs to do rather than rather than to focus too much on on um, um, sort of more practical skills. So I think that approach is really good, and it's exciting to think that uh, in a way product design is reaching the mainstream. When I did it, um, no one knew what it was. <laughs> so if they're teaching it at secondary school, it's like. Um, um, yeah, we've sort of made it. Okay. If the five students could come up who were chosen for the competition, it's Andy, Noel, Nathan, Amar and Tommy. just announced the winner straight away. After all of the episodes, they accumulated points. Uh, the final episode actually being judged by a professional uh, product designer at a local company. Uh, I'd like to congratulate Noel on that too. But the, uh, the effort of all the students was excellent and uh, just to acknowledge that we've got a small gift for each of the other students.